So what is open access? Open access is a free online immediate availability of research articles plus full reuse rights. This means that research articles are free to read and free to reuse. Both are important elements of open access. Often the full reuse rights take form in a Creative Commons license. Creative Commons licenses allow authors to retain their copyright but communicate to others how their work can be used. The true definition of open access with full reuse rights would require CC by license, but many open access publishers utilize a variety of licenses or allow the author to choose what is best for them. To learn more about Creative Commons licenses, visit creativecommons.org or watch the next video in this series, Copyright and Your Rights. Open access being free to read is clearly a benefit for readers, but open access also has great benefits to you as a researcher. Since there is no charge to read open access research, your research is more discoverable. Studies have even shown that there is a potential higher citation count, which makes simple sense because if more people can access your research, the more potential readers who can cite your work. Open access publications also tend to have more rapid publication, so your research will spend less time waiting for publication. One of the greatest benefits to you as an author, though, is that you can keep your copyright. Many traditional publishers require a full transfer of copyright, but open access publishers typically allow you to retain your copyright, require only a license to publish, and often publish your work under a Creative Commons license. You also have the bonus benefit of helping research access for all. After all, as students and researchers, we've all been there. Feeling the frustration of facing a paywall for a research article that our university doesn't subscribe to and that we cannot afford to pay ourselves. It slows down our research. Your field benefits by quicker progress when research is accessible. Let's go over a few open access myths that may help you with these concerns. The first is that publishing open access is the only open access. This isn't true. You can do open access in two ways, either by publishing in open access journals or archiving your research. Publishing open access is sometimes called gold open access, and archiving is called green open access. Archiving your research allows you to be an open researcher while maintaining your current publishing practices, which can help you if you need to meet expectations to publish or there are not yet open access journals in your research area. The second myth is that you're paying to publish. Open access is not vanity publishing. Open access is simply a different funding model. Publishing costs, whether money or in volunteer time. Their article processing charge business model shifts the cost from reader to the author or research funder. Rather than subscriptions that only give access to subscribers, open access gives access to all. If you need help covering the cost of an APC fee, you may be able to write it into a grant or get funding from the TWU Open Access Publishing Fund. If you're a full-time faculty member, you qualify for this funding. Unfortunately, at the present time, TWU students do not qualify for the Open Access Publishing Fund. But if you have co-authored with a faculty member, then you do qualify. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the Open Access Publishing Fund. The third myth is that all open access journals charge fees. This isn't true either. According to the directory of open access journals, over 60% of open access journals listed in their directory do not have an APC. And there are even new open access models developing. Launched in 2015, the Open Library Humanities is a new humanities publishing platform that does not charge subscription or any author-facing fees. The platform is instead funded by institution and library memberships. If you're a humanities researcher, I highly suggest that you check out the Open Library of Humanities at openlibhumes.org. The fourth myth is that open access journals are low in quality. Open access journals have the same standards of peer review, copyright, quality, prestige, and research impact. 